Howdy boys and welcome to Whoa, I have got a shitload of stuff in the back and it is making it very hard to do an intro. This episode brought to you by Jimmy Jean Microwaveable Croissants. It's actually my last bite, so I won't have to edit out a bunch of cheese smacking noises like I did in the last video. Is that, is that just a piece of there's just a piece of junk that spawned up on the side of the hill there. Okay, that's cool. He actually turned down junk spawn, so I've got a I'm gonna go around and actually clean the map up one of these days off record. Because there's just random stuff everywhere because I haven't picked up it, 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 like prime example here, I haven't picked up anything in forever because I, I'm a dirty cheating SOV. But uh, on today's episode, we're gonna try out some moonshine recipes from the community. If you got any moonshine recipes, drop them down below. I'll take the first two and we'll give them a go, see what happens. We're gonna go find another junk car. Uh, go find, I'll show you another junk car. Yeah, I bought tires off record just because I was bored. And I found another battery at the junkyard. Again, off record. Yeah, sorry about that. I was uh, just doing a little running around exploring. I usually don't save when I do the running around and exploring and stuff, but I found another battery, so I'm like, I'm saving it. All right, let's see. We've got just an insane amount of ingredients, so let's uh, let's get going. Let's start right... Oh, yeah. Uh, shout out Macabre, Maccabee scene, Macabre scene, Black Truck. You were the only one with a, you know, reasonable suggestion. Uh... R uh, RV nerd, not gonna, no, I'm not gonna do some just like 13 different colors, even though there's only like nine panels, because that's just, you know, not just not gonna do that. Uh, Overlord Igloo, we already did red with black accents, man, but uh, yeah, keep your suggestions coming on the colors. We'll take, uh, I'll take whichever one I like the best or whichever one gets suggested the most. All right, let's see, let's start with RV nerd again. Shout out RV nerd. We're gonna make your recipe. That's, that's cram. Okay. Let's just, well, yep. Not going to do, hang on. Can I put cram in the bucket? Can we make cram? Nope, can't put, whoop. Nope, no cram on this one. Can't make cram shine. Oh, hey, corn up here. Yeah, I'll just take some corn with me. All right, let's see. Uh, What's in this one? Boom. All right, there we go. That's what I like to see. All right. RV nerd suggested eight corn, two sugar. Simple enough. Four bath number six and there's one eight. All right. I found I do better if I don't count while I'm trying to do it. I always end up like talking ahead of myself and a couple of sugar. One yeast. All right. Throw a lid on that. Oh, water. Almost forgot. Almost fucked up the whole episode. And we got... Oh, nope. Hang on. Too much. No! <laughs> Go away. Don't you hate when your hose gets out of hand? All right. Here we go. All right. RVs is going in the truck. That's never going to... I'm missing a propane tank. I had two in there. Be on the road on the way back. All right. His is in the truck. And bam, bam, uh, bam, bam with a bunch of X's, uh, six, six, and one. So let's see here. We'll go that guy, two, two more. Number six. Let's see what we got. Uh, two. I know these aren't going in. Let's just see. I'm kind of scared to open them bag near this thing. Might shoot a bunch of ingredients in there. Alright. Let's go over here open this. Alright. Alright. Six. That's six. Alright. So it's already got already got six sugar in it. Alright. So just drop these in. Uh... It's not, uh, yeah, it's not taking this. It's not taking that one. Okay, so we're just going to go with it. I guess I ended up with five. Oh, okay. It didn't take that one either. Okay. Have to uh, check the save file to see exactly what's actually in this. Uh, 
All right, Bam Bam, your recipe is going to stay at the house for right now so I can keep them separated. So let's go drop all this junk off I got. Find this other propane tank I lost. And we'll uh, go show you where this new car is. If the truck will start. Come on. Anytime now. There we go. Oh. Batteries. Need the batteries. Go ahead and grab both of them. Let's go. Oh yeah, someone. I uh, sorry, I forgot to write your name down. Yeah, I'm being I'm professional now. I'm taking notes. That's why I'm going through all that stuff. Can't take this battery out. Someone suggested that, but you can't take that out, unfortunately. All right, let's go. I'm up to uh, as of recording this 255 subs. Shout out to all you new guys. Appreciate every single one of you. Loving every single view I'm getting. Views are through the roof. Way more than 255 views. So that means a lot of you are not subscribing. Which I don't blame you. Why would you want to watch some jackass drone all over the road? Yeah, I got to clean. I got to do some cleanup. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Make sure you hit that sub button, guys. Oh, there's my propane tank. Hit that sub button and hang out. We can we can do fun stuff together. Like this with propane tanks. Alright, let's see if that's gonna stay. Alright, let's go. I'm thinking about uh trying some new games out for the record. Ah! See, this is what I get. I've been, I drove perfectly here. As soon as I start talking, I about run off the road. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about some different games, some stuff, you know, maybe just doing like some random VR stuff, just, you know, fun little stuff in VR. Uh, the Infected looks like a pretty interesting game. Uh, just, but I'm not sure. I gotta sit down and, I gotta sit down and uh, play around with it some, see if I can actually, see if there's enough going on for me to make an actual interesting video out of it. Because I don't, I don't like those videos where it's just me spending, you know, two hours gathering resources for five minutes of actual gameplay because if i want to do that i do scrap mechanic survival which is again i actually really enjoy that game scrap mechanic survival but i mean that's really hard to try to make an entertaining video out of that playing by myself you watching me you know chop trees and smash rocks for two hours just to you know go try to get into a warehouse where i die 15 times I saw my garage has a survival mode. I wasn't very interested in that game just because it looked kind of repetitive and just kind of meh. But the survival mode, the survival mode aspect of it looks kind of interesting, but it looks super janky right now. So I'm not sure about that. There's the long drive. I've sat down twice to try and record a long drive video and had record issues, so it never got edited or uploaded. So I might give that another go. And there's always my summer car. No question about it, I am ready to get hurt again. And there's a, oh yeah, there's a, uh, speaking of uh, VR, there was an interesting game called Into the Radius, I think's what it was called. It was a, uh, like, action adventure survival kind of shooty game, which VR, I, as far as I know, there's nothing, something else in VR quite like that. There's no like real survival games in VR, so I'd be kind of interesting to do that. Only problem with that is it's hard to play more than like, you know, 20, 30 minutes at a time. Let's go ahead. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and hook you up. Make sure you're completely empty. All right, battery's good. All right, we have three usable batteries now, so we should be no issues there. All right, go ahead and leave this bucket out here. All right, got everything unloaded. Doesn't look like there's any more in there, so let's go. Uh... All right, we'll know when we come back if there's any more in there. Let's go. All right, let's go show you where this car is. I feel like I saw this car back when I first started playing a game. 
but I didn't think anything of it, and I just kind of forgot about it. Because as soon as I found it, I'm like, oh, hey, this looks really familiar. But we're going to, let's uh, let's ease over there and let me show you how to get, get to that guy. Oh, yeah, let's get this case of moonshine that was just randomly, I don't even know, I found in a previous video. It was just randomly over here. We'll go cash that in. All right, let's go down here and see Jake cash his moonshine in, and then I'll show you where to get this other car engine. Yeah, uh, the, there's been an update, too. Like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it, but he actually turned down the amount of junk that spawns. So, uh, so yeah, it would actually be worth the effort to maybe try to clean up a little bit now. The trash is definitely not worth it right now. Maybe since, well, maybe now that junk's been turned down, it'll be worth it. So you can get to moonshine. There's just random stuff everywhere. There's a washing machine or something back there on the bottom of that rock hill. All right, here you go. I found this in town. There you go. Woo, that's strong. That was 850 bucks. What the hell? Where did that come from? Because my last couple of efforts have only been like a couple of hundred, I think. Like, I think four or five hundred, maybe. That's like double, maybe. Maybe the longer they sit, they go up in value. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some more experimenting. All right, this other car that I found, this junk car with the junk engine, with the crazy supercharger. That's not. Hey, there's a shipping container right there. Is over here. You come over here to the uh, the tower with the narco antenna mission. It's that tower right here. And you come up here. And instead of turning left right here for the antenna, the road keeps going a little ways and you just go down here. And right here through the bushes somewhere, where's it at? Is that it? Nope. Where the hell is it at? Did it disappear? Oh, it's behind me. <laughs> How the hell did I do that? I drove right past it. <laughs> That's impressive. But anyway, yep, yep. Same old junk engine, same old junk car. Nothing. Nothing here. Nothing to do with it. Can't do anything with it. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Now we've got probably another, I'd say, 40 minutes to kill, maybe 30 minutes to kill while we wait on the uh, moonshine to brew. So I guess I'm just going to do a little driving around exploring and uh, see what we can come across. And he put some more, he put some more, uh, he put some more pillars up so you can't just drive in. You can't just drive in there anymore. Thanks, Overlord. Not Overlord. Overlord's with the guys with the comments. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Keystone. Appreciate that. There you go. Keystone's the uh, developer over on the Discord. All right, I'll do a quick check around here and make sure there's nothing interesting, but I'm going to assume there isn't. There's an EFI intake. I still need to build the four-cylinder just to see what it's about. Maybe do a video on rebuilding it. I don't know. Oh, thought, thought that newspaper was something for a second, but it's not. Everyone always like, hey, there's batteries in the junkyard. I'm like, I know there's batteries in the junkyard. I just, I never find any. And I look, I just edit it out. So I'm going to leave this in here for you, all you people. For all you guys, like, it's in the junkyard. Like, just to show you, there is, you know, just, you know. Because I go through the junkyard. Always going through the junkyard. Methodically searching every little nook and cranny. What we got here? It's timing. I mean, I, don't, I still don't understand. Maybe, maybe later in the game, the stuff will become, you know, necessary. But I mean, I don't understand the point of needing, like, you know, a rusted out timing chain cover. Maybe, maybe eventually we'll have it where you can clean parts up and make them, you know, bring some durability back to them. But I mean, basically, most of this stuff is ruined. Like, that's not bad, but I mean, what are the odds of you needing an exhaust manifold? I mean, maybe when the truck first starts, it'll have, like, random parts missing and, you know, you're broke. Ooh, rear diff cover. <laughs> I'm taking that just because some of you saw me lose mine. So we're going to we're gonna take that just in case. Just in case I lose it and it doesn't come back. Yep, now nah, looks like that's pretty much everything worth getting. I did see, I, I came through here one time, and there was a uh, ring and pinion gear set up on top of that shed there. I don't know what that was about. Uh, 
There's a really crappy turbo intake manifold for not that much cheaper than a regular one. I don't know if the visual condition or the price should be what we base the uh, condition off of. I have to do some experimenting with that. But not today. Not today. Still waiting for him to try to sneak something in back there. Hmm. Is that just me or is that really inviting looking? Let's go see. Huh. We're gonna find... I did find that one symbol on the side of the hill down there by the junkyard. Maybe there's something right here. Let's, 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 let's hop out and do a little exploring. Well, I'll, uh, I'll edit this out if I don't find anything interesting. All right, guys. Yep, whole lot of nothing out here. Uh, I am hungry and thirsty, so... Uh... Come on. Come on, crank truck. There we go. All right. Yep, whole lot of nothing. So, uh, yeah, we're still, uh, that didn't, that, that only killed about 10 minutes for me. A couple seconds for you, but, you know, you're welcome. Come on. What? I, I, I don't know why it always, it's like the road's really muddy, but it's not like, it doesn't look muddy. It's like muddy around it. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh, Let's go look around town, like in the woods around town. Maybe we can find something interesting there. I don't, I don't think I've really explored around there too much. Wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? What is this? A little dirt track down there, actually. Yeah, I just, I literally just noticed that. Uh, oh, yeah, another valve. It does nothing. Yeah, another valve. I'm guessing this is a, for a future mission. It's actually showing up. This is for a future mission, maybe? It doesn't do anything. Yeah. Huh, huh. Let's follow this little trail out. See where... Well, I want to look around. Yeah, let me look around here real quick to make sure there's nothing. Make sure there's no symbols. Gotta always be looking for symbols. Alright. Yep, yeah, I don't see anything. Does this go? I wonder. What was this gonna come out? Oh, we're just. Oh, okay, cool. Did not know that. Now we do. Yeah, yeah that was that was worth my time. Yeah, I guess that's a future mission. There's that valve, and then there's another one, like way up in like the northeast there out in the middle of nowhere with a pallet beside it. Like I said, uh, probably just part of some future missions. Hey, what was that? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Is that a road? There's like a little path right here. See that? There's a little path right here. Oh, we got a we got a new challenge discovered. Okay, let's see what this new challenge is about. And just go anywhere. Does this go anywhere? No, no, no. I don't like it goes anywhere. Cause that's that trail I just was on a bit. Yeah, nothing here. Nothing out here either. Anyway, all right. Well, let's see what the new challenge is. Uh, missions. No. Uh, jump Main Street reverse step up. What? Use the embankment to jump over the street. Also clearing the ditch on the other side. Why does it Main reverse step up? What? Is, what? I don't know what that means, but anyway, let's go for it. Jump Main Street. Let's go. Some Bo and Luke Duke shit here. Let's go. Gonna lose my diff cover, but I don't care. Is this way I came. Do we want four wheel drive? Ah, hey, yeah, let's go four wheel drive. Gotta get all the help I can here. Let's go. Oh boy, let's go! Woo! <laughs> Beer cans flying everywhere. 
That's great! Hey, we got it! Now, let's see. I kind of want to look around here where we just landed. The beer can floating in midair was just perfect. Okay, so that's just right down there where all that is, so probably nothing right here. Man, we need a detachable camera or some kind of replay system. Wow. <laughs> so I can see how crazy that actually was. Come on. Whoa, whoa. No. Come on. Up the hill. Okay, and we're stuck. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Give me that empty case of beer. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if you. Uh, I forgot to mention. I changed tires. I put the uh, put the uh, Mickey Thompson Baja call things on the front. Whoa! Come back here! Come back here! Whoa, whoa. Get in there. Okay. Yeah, I got the uh, the Mickey Thompson Baja call looking tires. I can't remember what they're actually called. Uh, if I'm not completely lazy, I'll put them. I'll put a little caption with them what they're called and I put the uh, the boggers on the back just because uh, you know the best tire in mud and the best tire on the rock so I figured you know why not go mix them up a little bit and that's something people actually do like uh, I know mud racers like like serious mud racers they'll uh, they'll run boggers on the back and then like a uh, TSL or another like super aggressive mud tire on the front is because boggers don't turn that well even in mud they're great for going in a straight line but they're not great for, uh, you know, for steering. They're just a straight, they're just, they're just a DOT approved paddle tire. And if you really want to get crazy, you go through and cut the little, uh, cut the little sipes out. That's when you start breaking stuff. <laughs> so, get all the traction. And we're, oh, hello poker game. I need to come back and steal some more of your guys' money soon. Let's get some gas, we got half a tank. I don't know what we're about to do now. Where am I? What am I gonna do now? Oh boy. Ah, 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 ah. We're gonna run off the damn road, apparently, is what we're gonna do. I don't know, I guess I might go up to the uh, quarry. Apparently, he did some changes. Actually, let's go home and sleep. It doesn't affect the, uh, it doesn't affect the moonshine brewing, so keep that in mind. So if you're going by your, like, phone clock, I, uh, what was it? Scapegoat, I think, tried to go by that and do, like, exactly... Because it says, like, a day. The, the journal says a day. And he tried to do exactly 24 hours going by the phone clock, and uh, his moonshine did not turn out well. And I don't think it was a recipe issue. Because I think in real time, he only was... Uh, I think he only had it brewing for, like, 30 minutes, maybe. I think in, like, real time, and that's not enough. So basically, he just gave old dude a bunch of, you know, ferment... You know, unfermented corn water. You know, here, let's do this. This says return to Jimmy Junks. Let's go return this to Jimmy Junks. Let's do that. Let's see if that does anything. Get this empty case of beer out of here. All right. Hey, I brought this back. You want it? Fill out one of the forms. So, yeah, there's that. Fill out one of the forms. Fill out one of the forms. All right. So I guess he didn't want that back. Yeah. Anyway. What the hell? Um. Wait a minute. Is this the turbo? Uh... Freaking launch! Oh, uh, can we ring the truck? Oh God! Okay. Wonder if that's the same turbo, huh? So. Yeah. What do you want? Hey. We don't do oh, that. I heard, I thought he was talking to me. Like I say, we've already been down this road. You don't want to deal with me. So. Yeah. Literally every time you open a grocery bag, something's gonna go through the ground. So just uh, be prepared. I guess let's yeah, let's go out to the quarry. We'll go out there. He uh he there's been some changes to the game. Apparently there's like different size chunks of like raw iron you can get and stuff so that, that that's interesting see if we can actually see if it's actually worth doing compared to you know boomshine and running junk and stuff uh yep that was the turn right there 
Oh yeah, just drive around this gate. Maybe I mean, he might eventually have to reopen it, or maybe you gotta like, you can't get out here without, can't get out here without doing some missions first, or something like that. Maybe I don't know. I think eventually that shipping container where you find the V8 block, I think eventually that's gonna be locked where you can't get to it without doing some missions. So you can't just do like I did and just stumble across it like day one. All right, let's see what we got going on out here. There's a pickaxe somewhere. Yep, there it is. Yeah, you wanna leave this out here. You can you can take it. There's, as of right now, there's no reason to take it. It's only useful out here. All right, so these are the nodes. These things right here, just hit that. And then you, yeah, you gotta, okay. Okay, nope, we're not, hadn't done anything with that yet. There it goes. Whoa, that's a fucking big chunk of iron. That would, <laughs> that would be so heavy. Hey, the diff cover's still in there, yep. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, there's uh, there's uh, nodes with nothing in them. Oh, there's just a piece just sitting out. Let's just take it. Let's, I, think, I think we're going to call that good. Three, I think three's enough. Three's enough to determine if this is actually worth doing, because, you know, I could have I could have hauled a couple of appliances by now, so let's see. Uh, no. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, get on up here. All Come on. Oh, I'm not in four wheel drive, that's probably why. There we go. Let's see, whoa. See, this is a smaller one. 514 kilograms. I don't know what that is in freedom units. Sounds heavy. And that got me 326 to... So that's like 300 bucks for 514 kilograms. So this is actually... Okay, this is actually worth it. Especially when... That one's 917 kilograms. So that... That was only worth 200. Okay. I am so confused now. What's this guy worth? 1,490 kilograms. That should be worth a lot of money. That is... Okay, yes. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that's actually worth it. Because every one of those is basically worth at least one appliance, and there was a lot of them out there. You just gotta have... You're gonna need at least, like, a decent set of mud tires to get in and out of there really well put together four cylinder at the very minimum like really well maintained really good condition four cylinder and like a decent set of mud tires to get in and out of there but once you do that that is definitely worth the effort i don't know where i'm going i just pulled out and turned to go this way yeah uh if you guys didn't see my last video and i keep mentioning symbols you need to go back and watch that because there are these symbols all around the map. This right here is like an eye raw eye of horse. Can't remember which one, but yeah, there's one right there, and they're scattered all around the map. I did a whole video on it, and there's a puzzle wheel out in the woods, uh, and yeah, it's got all the symbols on it, and it like rotates, and there's a key and stuff like that. And there's a puzzle, and there's a $200 bounty for whoever solves the puzzle, whatever that involves. No idea what that involves. The uh, uh, keystone on the Discord, one of the developers has said he will give $200 in cryptocurrency to the first person to solve the puzzle. Whatever that means. That's literally all that's been said. I have did a video on everything I know. I've been chatting with one of the uh, admin for the uh, Junkyard Truck Discord. They don't really know a whole lot either. We, you know, so, yeah. It is what it is. Oh yeah, I edited it out, but I moved the water trailer up here. I don't know why. I was just I I didn't know what it was for at the time, so I just moved it up here. Yep, nothing in here. This is where the V8 block is. If you if you're lazy and haven't watched my other videos, shame on you. But the V8 block and one of the buckets is in here. 
been it's been enough time now. The oh, that's right, I moved it in here. These buckets should be ready to go by now. So let's go. Uh, let's go see what we can do. Let's let's make some moonshine, boys. All right, came in a little hot there. All right, we got RVs, uh, RV nerd. Got your uh, recipe first on deck here. Was uh, was that eight corn, two sugar, one yeast? So let's see what we get out of that. All right, that should be empty. Make sure there's nothing come out. Nope. All right. So we're good. We burned a whole propane tank, so it should be good to go. All right. We'll get that going. Let's uh, let's run to town. Make sure the battery's still hot. Which number? Uh, let's go ahead and pull that battery out. Let's get, a first. let's get one of the good batteries in there. These are both fully charged. All right. So while that's cooking, let's run to town. That's the empty bucket, right? Yeah. All right, go ahead and drop that. All right, guys, like I said, if you got any recipes, hit me up. We'll uh, we'll make them happen. First two recipes that uh, hit the comments, I'm going to give them a try. All right. Yeah, but there's definitely a limit. So, uh, like, Bam Bam's recipe had, like, 12 things in it, and it didn't work. All right, I guess, I guess technically 13 if you count the yeast. And it, uh, there's a limit to how much sugared corn you can put in. I haven't, you know, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to play around with that and figure out exactly what the limit is on each thing. I don't know if it's a set, like, total you can only have, you know, like, ten things in yeast or what, but I'll have to look and see exactly what I ended up with in that bucket. I was, I was listening to some old records and I was like, I called it a moonshine distillery, like I'm some kind of college boy. Like, what the hell? <laughs> It's not very Appalachian American of you. It's a stale. Man, those new propane tanks really burn. Why are we not? Why is there no moon? Oh, it's full. <laughs> I was about to say, there's nothing in there, it's, but it's full. All right, let's see what we got out of this. It's making a pretty good bit so far. Now, is it going to be the quality we want, though? That's the question. This is, again, this is RV Nerd. This is your recipe. With uh, eight corn, two sugar, one yeast. Wait, isn't that the... Hang on, that's the recipe they gave on the Discord channel, wasn't it? What's the, what's the regular recipe? Six sugar. Oof, yeah. Make sure the battery's good. Yeah, all right. All right, we got five crates out of that, so let's go see what we got so far. All right, got a fresh thing burning, so when I come back, it should be empty, and we can we can test Bam Bam's recipe that I didn't quite get in there because it didn't all fit. I want to go that way anyway. This is the way I wanted to go. All right, let's go see what our boy Jake will give us for uh, this uh, here batch we got. Hopefully it's a good one. See what we get price-wise. I'll uh, drop my cash so we don't have to do math. We can get some exact numbers. A little too exact, if you know what I mean. Thousands of cents. I just, I just picture him handing me like, like a roll of cash and then just like a giant jar of pennies. That's how he pays for his moonshine. All right. Oh God, I got so much money. Don't you hate that? And bye. Yep. All right, there you go, buddy. Just think of that. Woo, that's strong. The hell? What? Why did your voice change? That voice does not match that guy anymore. All right, that gave us six hundred twenty-three dollars and fifty cents. Let me uh, make a note of that. Six hundred twenty-three dollars and fifty cents. All right. All right, get the rest of these unloaded. That, he doesn't want that. Give me that, there we go.
Thank you, sir. Woo, that's strong. Why do you sound like that? Get as much of this cash as I can. Yeah, we can get a roll more. Give me the cash. There we go. All right. All right, I'm gonna run and toss all these propane tanks real quick. Get them just to be done with them. Oh, yeah, this one. Yep. Yeah, come on, right way. Should have grabbed a few appliances, but yeah, you don't want to see that. Like I said, I'll I'll, t I'll clean the map up off record. I'm yeah. I mean, at some point, it's literally going to start affecting my FPS because there's so much trash in the world. That's part of the reason I don't save when I go out, like, just doing random exploring stuff. It's because you'll just be driving through the woods and shit will just be raining from the sky on you. And I'm just, like, worried it's going to legit, like, screw my FPS up at some point. There's just so many sprites trying to render. Should be all that. So let's get this guy. Oop, come here. All right. Load you up. Oop, come here. Let me download that battery. Battery, 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 battery. Uh, let's go ahead and pull that. Go ahead and get a fresh one in. I'm sure it'll still work, but you know, I got them. Might as well use them, right? All right, well, yeah. Ooh, close that. Close that. Go ahead and just get a fresh tank. Why not? I'm not going back to the dump, so I'm not going to carry that. All right, fresh tank burning, recipe in. All right. Check back with you guys in a few minutes when this guy's uh, done cooking. We'll see what we get. Alright guys, if you hung around this long, I'll tell you to uh, follow me over on Twitter. Uh, link in the description. Yeah, come on. I'll uh, I'll make sure I'll... Uh, I'm going to try my best. I'll post some videos over there early. Uh, maybe some behind the scenes, outtakes, bloopers, stuff like that. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, definitely go over on Twitter. Give me a follow and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can try to get you some extra content or early content over there. Alright, let's see what Bam got us. Dang, we're getting a pretty good bit out of this. That's five already, and it's not empty. Huh? Do we go for one more? Oh, we got one more. Heck yeah, we're up to seven. Oh, oh, you gonna fall? No, 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 no. We got any more? No. Let's uh, let's throw a fresh uh, tank on. Fire it up and check the battery. Yep, battery's still good. All right, so let's go cash these in. Don't need these. Let's go cash these in and see what we got. Definitely got... Oh, don't... Don't trust that. Ah! No! My beers! My precious beers! What the heck happened? Come on. Flip over. I'm not... There we go. There we go. All right. You know, this beer, cram, everything just goes everywhere. No, get... Ah, wonder how much cram's lost in this mud right here. Well, that cram's just gone. Great. I hate when I lose my cram. Alright, didn't lose any shine, right? No, okay, still got all the shine. Oh yeah, uh, recent update, Jigs Casey now can find lost items for you. So, uh, I might run by there and see about that in just a second. Let's go get this done. Let's do one thing at a time. Don't get too ADD. Let's go cash this, uh, let's go cash the moonshine, see what, see what that is, and then we'll go talk to Jigs Casey. Whoa, shit! 
just straight launched Jake's trash can. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> oh, there's mother. There's no. It's okay. I'm still only three cases of beer. I got a uh, case of beer got lost somewhere back there. Oh, yep. Drop my money so I don't drop that. So we get. Woo, that's strong. Why does your voice sound like that? That is weird. We got six hundred and seventy-three dollars and fifty cents for that times seven. Let's see what that's going to work out to be. That works out to a grand total of four thousand seven hundred fourteen dollars and fifty cents. That ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. That is Bam Bam's recipe coming in, coming in big, and that definitely beats out uh, RV Nerd's recipe. Of, uh, I think he got us like thirty one hundred dollars. So yeah, so that definitely beats him out pretty good. Let's go back. Make sure there's not any more. All right, we're still brewing. We're still cooking. Let's see what we got. Any more? Any more? No, battery's still hot. Uh, yeah, it should still be cooking. All right, so, so it looks like uh, that's it. So, all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for coming by. Uh, like I, like I said earlier, check me out on uh, Twitter. Link in the description. Uh, give me some more moonshine recipes because uh, this week Bam Bam definitely won it with uh, 4,714 bucks. Uh, beat out RV Nerd. I'm going to have to, uh, I'll look and see exactly what his recipe is and I'll make sure to post it while I'm playing because there is a limit on what can go in the bucket. So some of that stuff didn't go through and I wasn't paying close enough attention at the time. So yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks for stopping by, guys.